morning. Uh, we're going to chat this morning about uh, how to set up and operate uh, Bell Manage. Um, as you'll see, it's uh, very automated and uh, simple to do. Uh, the initial uh, requirement is only that uh, you have a company intranet running um, the HTTP or HTTPS protocols. No need for um, Active Directory or domains to be uh, implemented. The first step is to install Bell Manage on your Windows server. Um, installing it on a VM is uh, fine. And as part of the install, Bell Manage uh, installs a uh, instance of SQL Express uh, as the backend database automatically. Uh, you can also link your Bell Manage server to your instance of uh, SQL Server or uh, Oracle if you have that installed. The next step is to install the uh, Bell Manage client on all the machines that you wish to monitor whether they be workstations, servers, or laptops. You can, uh, to automate this, you can use uh, MSI scripts or the scripts that come with Bell Manage. If uh, for any reason uh, you don't wish to uh, install a client, there is a clientless option available. Um, and uh, that has similar discovery capabilities as the uh, installed client. What about uh, roaming laptops and tablets uh, that are not uh, normally connected to your network? Well, if they uh, ever VPN in uh, to your network, uh, the Bell Manage client will automatically see that VPN connection and will upload the profile uh, to your Bell Manage server. So it's a very automated uh, operation. If uh, you have many clients uh, that never uh, connect into your network, uh, you can also put a Bell Manage server in your DMZ. The uh, operation is uh, very automated, and we will go to the next slide to uh, uh, discuss how that works. Now that we've seen how Bell Manage is set up, um, we'll now show you how uh, it operates. And you'll see it's equally straightforward and uh, simple. The first step is that the clients uh, run a scan on their host machines. Uh, the default is once a day and that's under your full control from the server. Um, the clients then upload a profile via either HTTP or HTTPS to your Bell Managed server depending on how you have it configured. And since the profile size is only about 40k bytes, um, this has never uh, caused any network traffic issues even amongst our larger, uh, larger customers with uh, hundreds of thousands of profiles. The next step is that the Bell Managed server creates a SQL database entries um, based on the profiles they receive and the web-based reports. Then uh, users can uh, log in with authentication such as um, PKI CAC cards, uh, Windows or Bell Managed logins, and view their um, Bell Managed reports. Again, uh, there's uh, different user types and different levels uh, within the um, automatic grouping that the users uh, can see their reports, and we'll go on to that in the next slide. Bell Manage comes with uh, many important uh, automation features, and I'd like to mention a few of uh, those here. Uh, there are seven different user types which give uh, different user access rights um, all the way from full admin to um, partial to read only to even download only. So a lot of flexibility there as far as uh, managing uh, your user types. Um, automatic grouping of profiles is very important because it's a feature that allows you to uh, view the Bell Manage uh, profiles based on your organizational structure. So for example you can do automatic grouping based on um, Active Directory OUs, uh, if you have those. It can be done on IP subnet addresses. Um, it could be done on usernames if you have a certain type of username structure or combinations of any of these. Um, actually, anything within the uh, uh, Bell Manage profile can be used for automatic grouping. Software compliance reports are uh, very interesting because it allows automatic comparison of what's uh, installed with uh, actual approved versions of that software. So this uh, will help you uh, quickly track down uh, out of uh, compliance software or insecure software. Um, also a very interesting feature is uh, the ability to automatically compare um, 
uh, profiles with standard images. So you may have an engineering image or a marketing image and you can automatically uh, compare those machines to the uh, standard image to see how they comply. Uh, we mentioned before you have full control over the profile upload schedule. Uh, the default is once a day, but that's under your control. You can uh, make it much more often than that, once an hour uh, for server farms, for example, or you can make it less frequent if you like. Um, most people do um, keep to the default because it uh, automatically uh, assures that they have the latest profile information, at least uh, as of the last 24 hours on most of their machines. Uh, removal of old profiles is, are important because you may have machines uh, coming and both uh, and also leaving your system and this allows automatic removal of profiles say for example that have not reported in in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 6 months uh, the time limit is up to you. We host a um, demo of the full Bell Manage system. Um, it is a full system but the difference is that um, instead of it running on your server we host it um, also you don't have access to the admin pages we'd be happy to uh, set you up on the demo uh, we'll send you an email with your personalized login information uh, by default you can upload 10 profiles 10 machines um, to the demo and um, if you don't wish to upload a profile you can also uh, view the sample reports on the demo we publish a number of white papers in topics such as uh, software license management, IT security, configuration management, software compliance. So uh, again, send us an email and we would be happy to send you those PDFs. So we love to uh, talk to prospective customers and customers. Um, please feel free to give us a call and uh, I wish to thank you very much for your time and attention.